Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Columbus Aviators Relocation Franchise Season 2 and the final season. Um, not the final episode, though. Got a few more weeks to go, honestly. But uh, we are here in week 10. We are coming off a win, our sixth win in a row. Which uh, That would mean we started off 0-2, which I think we did. I think we did. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, I'll check it out. Anyways, um, yeah, we're coming off a win against the Green Bay Packers, a team that cannot seem to beat us in the regular season. Let me say regular season, because we might see them in the playoffs. Actually, we probably won't. They're 4-5. We could. We're at the top of the division, too. I just noticed that at 6-2. and two. Oh, Vikings low 6-3. I didn't even notice that. Wow. We're coming off a win against the Packers. One player of the week for uh, Dante Griffin, because he had a pick six. That's really the only reason he won. I guarantee you that's the only reason he won it. Uh, three tackles until forced fumble. Well, fumble recovery. I don't really remember him recovering a fumble. I don't remember getting a fumble that game. I don't. But anyways, yeah, come off a win. Going on to what well, we are in week 10 now. Facing the 10, not 10, the 6 and 2. Las Vegas Raiders, they are 84 uh is that offense? Yeah, they have an 84 offense and an 81 defense. So it's kind of going to be switched as of our offense is like pretty ranked. Well, our offense overall is pretty low. But our defense is kind of high. And their defense is kind of low, but their offense is kind of high. They have a better overall than us by one. Let's see how their offensive rank is. They are the like 16th offensive rank. We are the 25th. We're the number one defense. They're number five. So maybe their defense is not that bad, actually. Um, I said I was going to get into the uh, schedule. Like the win, whatever. So yeah, we did, we, this sort of 0-2, and then we won every game from there on out. Looking to win this game. There's no primetime games. We had one primetime game so far, and that was at uh, week Three against the Packers, which you love to see. Then we have another one coming up in week 11 against football team. And then another one in week 17 against the Cardinals. So we have a lot of primetime games coming up, which you do like to see. We're going to get a look at this Raiders team. I don't think we faced them at any point in this series. So this is a brand new thing we're dealing with. Quarterback is a superstar, not that fast, 39 speed. Throw power is pretty good, pretty good accuracies across the board. Deep accuracy needs a little work, but it's still pretty good. 85 is still pretty good. Halfback is hurt, so we're not going to be dealing with him this episode. We will be dealing with the backup, who is not that bad either. 87 overall, might be a little better than the 92. I'm just thinking about age and overall. Pretty fast, pretty good. Might be a little difficult to stop today, and they also have another backup. Um, wide receivers, pretty good, fast. That's all I really care about is the speed. Like, if you're fast, I'm gonna be worried about you. And they have a uh, superstar X Factor tight end, which is uh, gonna be tough to do. A three speed, not the fastest, but for a tight end, pretty good. And he has 99 catching. He's 97 overall, so he's going to be pretty difficult to stop. That may be their main target today. Who knows? Left tackle, pretty good. Left guard, pretty good. They have a pretty good offensive line. D-line, all right. Okay. All right, it's going to be a little tough. Might not be able to run on this. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a passing attack, honestly. Damn, so each on each uh, outside linebacker spot, they have one that stops a run, and the other one that literally stops a pass. Well, it, it kind of is, but... Eh, I'll say. Yeah, it kind of is more of a run-stopping team. Cornerbacks are not the greatest. What's their zone to the man? All right, they're not they're not very good. I'm not gonna lie, to you. they're they're not like outside of the first corner they're bad. The second corner, seventy six man, six six zone. Next, 
77 man, 65 zone. Next, 63 man, 73 zone. Not a good group of corners. Not going to lie to you. Free safety, pretty good. You suck at man, though. Strong, pretty good in zone. Pretty damn good, 90 overall. Bobby Ewing. I don't like your name. I just don't. You're weird to me. All right, and we also have a breakout player. That's what I forgot to mention. We have a breakout player. Now, there's going to be a few. If there's anybody on defense, I might be a little mad. Anyone other than Belton, I might be a little mad. If it's Dante Griffin, I'm going to be annoyed. Not even mad. I'm just going to be a little bit annoyed. Like, why you? Why Dante Griffin, bro? I know he had a good game last week, but that's about it. That's all you could say he had a good game last week. Who I want to be. Wes, one of my receivers. I'm not gonna lie, that's it. Make it be Wes or one of my receivers. Even the running back could get it, bro. Please, please. It's a defensive player. I don't even see what they're saying. It's Dante Griffin. I think this will push him up to superstar. If it's for star, bro, get out of here. Like, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna care. Okay, superstar. Okay. 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 Look, I'm not mad at that. I am a little bit, but I'm not really mad at that. Uh, we're going short and uh, blitz counter. Looks like they could blitz us a little bit. I don't really care about the offensive goals and the, the game day goal. What? A, who gives a damn? Just don't get injured. That's all I really care about. It don't look like we have any injuries. Let's go to upgrades to get on this field. This intro has been not really long. It's just been there. You know, it's been there. Make a right guard and move up to 80 overall now. Up in that pass block power and pass block and lead block. Pretty decent upgrades. DT, De DeMario, um, Carrington. Get that run stopper up. Plus three run stoppers. Nothing. I said plus three run stopper. I meant plus three block, Chad. He got plus one, though. Ben Johnson, a player who saw the field of a total of... 29 snaps through nine weeks so far. I don't know what to tell you, bro. You look good, though. Like, you look like you could be a really good player, but you're just not. I don't know what to tell you. You just aren't. F plus two finesse move, plus one tackle. You just aren't good right now, bro. I don't know. James Mendoza. Nobody really cares. Good upgrades. And Marquise Belton to finish it off. What is your run stop run? I mean, bro, <laughs> block shed. Your block shed is 77. Let's go with block shed. Boost is overall by one. And nothing to block shed. Just pursuit and tackle, really, and strength, I guess. Whatever. I'll see you on the uh, the turf. I would say on the hardwood. It's not that sport. I don't get why don't the Raiders have black pants. I just I just think like the their uniforms would be so hard, bro. If they just had some black pants, like if they just could get some black pants, this uniform would be tough. I think the Raiders uniform like I don't like basic colors for uniforms. This is why certain teams that I hate picking. Chargers was one of that teams for me, but you feel me? I, I kind of changed my mind with them because they actually do have some hard-looking uniforms. Especially their older ones look really good. Um, Chiefs, too basic for me. Cowboys, to a certain extent. Uh, Giants actually have some good ones. I would put Giants in there, but no, nah, they actually have some good ones. It's just teams that have the basic colors and they have no... They have no variations to them. Like, I understand you could do one solid color sometimes, or you just do a base. But if, when it's just like, when it's just black, black, silver, white, if, it's like, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it's an iconic look, but it's just like, it's too basic, though. There's nothing to it. 
like I said, if it was all black, I I still would have a problem with it, but then I wouldn't have much of a problem with it. I have a problem with when I have to choose these teams, though. Like, if I have to beat this team every week, this is why, like, back in Madden 20 or whatever it was, I hated picking the Chiefs. I hated that franchise with the Chiefs just for the uniform. And the gameplay, too. The gameplay was so wonky, like, looking back on it. I don't know how I was playing that game, but, yeah. Just had a rant about uniforms. Now we're on the kickoff. Well, now we're kicking it off, we're not on the kickoff. We were faced some very, very good quarterbacks within these past couple of weeks, and we've outplayed them to a certain extent. What the fuck? He has thrown no intos. 2,000 yards and 16 touchdowns. No into. Alright. I'm taking that as disrespect, y'all. I am. Because why have you thrown not one into this season? Alright, I was there. I think it should have been an incompletion, but whatever. They, they gained three yards right there. Oh my god, that was supposed to be me. It's a good tackle, though. Very good tackle. Third and six now. Let's see how good this quarterback really is. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I was supposed to be right in that hole. You know what I did? I went straight. I straight. I was supposed to go straight. I know I wasn't supposed to go straight. I went straight. I was supposed to come straight and then make a turn. But look at me. They do shit. Embarrassing. Could have got him off the field right there. Good hit. We're actually late landing some big hits, but they're already at midfield. Not good. Don't know why he dived. That was not me. Maybe it was. I'm not even about to play with y'all. I can't break off, bro. All right, this running back is good. There was, like, nobody on that right side for some reason. I'm pretty sure I had a safety somewhere, but I don't know where he was. Probably in the middle of the field getting lost. And mind you, I did blitz, so. Uh, all right, that was a pretty easy fucking drive. Mainly got us with the run. We just don't have a good run defense, bro. That's what it is. Uh, our quarterback is playing better. Has the same amount of touchdowns as him. Not the same amount of yards or picks. So, you know, <laughs> that, that that's what it is. Going to try to get him with a run right here, depending on what defense they come out on. Do they have uh, um, inside stuff? Do they? No, one of them do. All right, I'm still going to try to run though. Give me a good block. It was decent, but I seen the nigga with inside stuff. He was shedding already, so I did not really have a choice. Just, so I'm just letting you know my options. I didn't have a choice. This is not what I called. This is horrible. Good way to stay on your feet, but <laughs> for some reason you was going backwards. How do you break a tackle and go backwards? All right, this drive might be over, bro. Honestly, I don't think we're getting. Um, let me try to run. Nope. Why is my quarterback so slow out the pocket? He has like 90 something speed. I wanted to pass it, but there was not really a lot of room. Good tackle. Getting like a yard. 
nothing actually. That's interesting. Good tackle. All right, third and one. Oh my god, I want to blitz, but it doesn't look like we can. Yo, you know what's crazy? He is running right beside my D lineman. I want to show you how close he's running to my D lineman. He's touching him. Oh, yeah. You know what? It, it kind of looked like he's trying to grab him, right? No, just a fucking animation because he's getting blocked. He's getting his shit clamped up. Look at me. I'm running a blitz, and there's no reason to run a blitz right here. What is this? Good tackle, though. Good tackle, Belton. That's what I'm talking about. 39. Most likely a pass right there. Sacked. Belton again. Just came away with a tackle for loss, I think. And then uh, a sack to get the ball back. All right. We're gonna have some momentum. I didn't even check them on like their uh, home field advantages. Uh, they're probably OP anyway, so it doesn't matter what they have. All right, cool. It's pretty OP shit. Good cutback though. I kind of wish he would have got a dev up, bro. But you know, I was just say he's dog shit. He's not really dog shit. He's just not that good. In other words, dog shit, I guess, bro. Good way to get there. Was that Frank or was that Gilchrist? Garner. I don't think Gilchrist plays. Let's try this play that usually works for us. Last week wasn't working that well, but it usually does work for us, though. Good. Uh, it was a little overthrown. I think if it's on the money, he can catch it and move upfield. But it was just a little overthrown. Look at it. He, he had a... Can I speak? <laughs> he had to get a little leap on it to get to the ball. Zach Ross, 780 yards on the season thus far. Going to be well over 1,000. You see, he kind of had to hit a little leap on it. If he could catch that in stride, touchdown. That's my belief, though. Bro, I don't want to. I'm just have to go with halfback base. I don't like running halfback base though. I'm gonna have to. Gained about a yard. It's not bad. I do want to run again though. But not under center. Okay. Um. I think. I'm going to put uh, Hudges on a flat and put someone else on a slant. See what we got so far. Why is he out of the end zone, though? Why is he not catching that inside the end zone? Like, why is he falling out of it? It's so stupid that the ball is placed right there. It's to the flat. He should fall backwards in the end zone. All right. Um, dumb shit. 
See what they come out in this. Middle is fucking wide open. Should get this pretty easily. Like we should have got the honestly that last one, the last pass. That's his tenth rushing touchdown on the season. Um, their whole field advantage stuff is pretty um, it's all right. Uh, the first one, well, the the basic one is basically their home actual shit. When they're winning, they gain momentum faster, which is like, okay, that's not really that bad. The second one is when they um, the QB is immune to pressure, which don't I I'm it's not too busted, but it's like it is annoying though. And the third one is they can see the primary the the routes for the primary receiver, which once again it's not that bad. I'm not even that mad at. Good hit. Let's go. Fumble recovery. Hey, now. Big boy hits. I think that was Jose Wallace who knocked him silly. Would it be Jose? It might have been. That was a safety spot. Let's go. We should have momentum right now. We do. I'm like, why do we not? So now we're immune to pressure. If we can get them off the field before they fucking drain the momentum right back. Oh my god, what a tackle. I like that. Yeah, think about passing the ball, you fucking doofus. All right, it's going to be third down right here, and uh, try to get him off the field. They got it. Whoever's on that flat is playing too low. I might, I might change you a little bit, put my settings on. Good tackles. Maybe I should be there. I'm so used to playing flat, so I don't know. Not my route. It's not my route, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not. It's on the other side where the other person's supposed to be. The other middle linebacker's supposed to be. There. He's supposed to get that tackle. The middle linebacker's supposed to get that tackle. I created that for him to push him into him, basically. Two-minute warning. They're going to get points unless we get it into our fumble again. But points look like it is about to happen. Ooh, good way to get a hand on it. Let's send some more pressure. Come on, we getting the hand on the ball. I like it. Nobody run right here, right? Everything's covered. Everything is covered. Don't need to call timeout. Let him kick it. Kick is up. Kick is good. It's gonna be what ten to thirteen now. Let's have another good drive, fellas. Come on. We got. We still got some momentum. Coverage. Could be a blitz, though. But we'll see what these linebackers do. 
There we go. Good way to catch in stride. Getting out of bounds. I wanted him to turn upfield. But we get the first, though. It's still, like, under a minute to go. So I'm kind of cool with that. I kind of like this play. I think this streak is, is it, there's either going to be, this post is going to be open with Franklin or Garner's going to be open on the streak. Obviously, I'm going to be looking underneath, but I think my main two looks are those. I see him. Come on, get there. Caught out of bounds, though. Maybe when they throw that a little earlier, I don't know. I feel like that was a good ball. Uh, we're going to go to this play. Just a safety net for me at this point. There we go. Inside the 10. So far, they're not doing a great job at covering. But, you know, situational. Bruh, can it just be a run? I just want a basic run. But they give me halfback base again. I don't like half that base. Touchdown. 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 I don't think it was really a touchdown, but I think this will be under review. It's actually not. And Franklin got injured on that, which I did not like. Not Frank. But we scored, though. We scored. We were, we're up 10 to 20 right now. We also get balled back at half. So if we don't let up a touchdown in the next 34 seconds, I will call this a successful um, first half. But with that being said, the only problem is Franklin might be out. And that's not good. And he has a bruised sternum. And he's going to be out for the rest of the game, which is going to bring... Gil Christen for the first time of the season. At least the first time I'm noticing the season. Oh my god! Who is hitting him like this? Yo, he put his entire body into that. Nah, this is crazy. Who did that? Is this Jose? It's Jose. I think it's been Jose this whole time. He put his entire body into this hit. I have to check what's been Jose this whole time. Because that's such a crazy play, bro. Force fumbles. Jose fucking Wallace. <laughs> Jose is a fucking legend right now. Holy shit. This is crazy. Oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> I gotta call time out. I kind of swerved him, but Jesus, I gotta call time out right I think this is the same look. Uh, why was open last time? We'll see if he's open this time. And he is. Touchdown. <laughs> Let's go. A throw that was on the fucking money. A beautiful throw to Fox. I just knew if I just let it to the left and the ball was at least somewhat on the money, back shoulder, and then you feel me? That was just, that was a beautiful throw. A beautiful catch and a beautiful touchdown to put it up by 17. Player of the game so far, Jose Wallace. Got to be honest. It could be Wes also. Wes is still playing good, but we got to give credit to who, who is setting up these plays. Both touchdowns were set up by Jose Wallace.
We'll see how better they defend us in the second half, but in the first half, it was pretty good in that first quarter, but outside of that first quarter, bro, I don't know. We defended them pretty well, I, I would like to think. Obviously, some people would disagree, but no, I would like to think we defended them pretty well. Good first. Good first. What happened there is the DT inside stuff guy. We're just going to call him the inside stuff guy from now. He got away from... Um, well, he got double teamed. And the middle linebacker kind of got caught up a little bit. He was trying to, like, really seek me out. But um, you feel me? He just got caught up. But I go with another run. I don't think it's really going to be that successful. But I'm not, I'm not opposed to going for this. We're going with this. See, I didn't think it was going to be that successful. Just for the center just didn't engage with the middle linebacker. He played two up when, bro, just attack who you're supposed to attack. Way overthrown. You, I didn't think it needs that should have been overthrown. Don't get me wrong, pressure was there, but was it that much? Why is that overthrown? Hello? I thought it was a good throw. I honestly, I, I could have hit Y. If I waited like a second, like, if I waited until he got like to right there. I would maybe hit him, honestly. It would have been a good throw, too. But why is this not caught? Put your hands up. Literally put your hands up. Who is this? If this is Gilchrist, I'm going to be mad. This is, this is Ross. It's Ross. I, I don't understand why you're not even putting your hands up for that. That doesn't make sense to me. Good tackle. Was that Griffin that time? I think it was. Dante? Dante got his tackle for loss. Wonder that's his second. Cause that's his second. That's superstar. Good tackle. I thought he was about to get away. That's our DT. I think that's Monk. Not sure. Look like a Monk. And we're going to be able to get the ball back. It'll be really great if we get a fucking block punt right here. No block punt. Good catch. That was a very difficult throw because I, I did not look underneath one bit. I looked deep. I saw the, not the safety, I saw the, um, the streak a little bit open. But then I looked in the middle, I saw that just wide open. It was just a very awkward throw. Because I ran outside, I kind of stopped, and then I kept running. But it was a good throw. It was a good throw. Got to where I needed it to be. Wasn't too much trouble. Um, I don't feel like we're going to get shit here, but let's try to get this run off. I mean, it works. <laughs> it works. It's being a little bit evasive. You feel me? His change of direction just doesn't feel that good, but uh, it works. It works. I will say that. Are y'all blitzing me? I like when y'all blitz me. Makes me feel important. Did he not? All right. Like, can y'all just fall back sometimes? Like, I would love to see an animation in the game. Fall back in the end zone. We're going halfback base. I hate halfback base, but we're going with it. Thank you. You pushed me in the end zone, fucking idiot. <laughs> and this game is kind of over at this point. Thirty-three to ten. Uh, you feel me? I don't. I don't know. Teams just don't have the. They don't have the consistentness to beat us. Then again, we're not facing fabulous teams. This might be the best team we face record-wise this season. Um, we face better defenses, but the defenses don't play that well for some reason. Oh my god, I'm just over pursuing. See, what I was doing, I was defending the slant, but 
I just wasn't ready for the, uh, the slide. Get him. Out of bounds, thank you. I'm like, please just like slip out of bounds. That's what we need. One slip. Uh, he tackled him, but he definitely got that first down. I see the primary route. I'm on it. I'm on this. It's, they change the play. They change the play. I'm still on it though. She just that guy was fast, and he got sacked. <laughs> Cheesy, my boy. Cheesy. They changed the play. Now the primary route was a streak. I want to be on that. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually a dumb thing. Uh, you know the play. I was say a streak, a uh, slant, not a slant. Something with a uh, screen. It was a screen. That's what it is. We are going to attempt to chew clock right here. Um, it's like every time I uh, put chew clock on, it just doesn't seem to work. Not work, but like that's when our running game starts to suck. The moment I put chew clock on. Look at that. Bad run. <laughs> and it makes you want to take two clock off. Fourth quarter time. Still up by a lot. I think I'm still going to run. Just so clock will keep ticking and I got a guaranteed, like, the clock keeps ticking. Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta slide literally a yard before I come in, literally five yards before I come in contact with them. I hate that. Like, let me slide freely on my own, yo, bro. Good, good stroke, good stroke. Could have been tackle for loss, but new. No. no, thank you, sir. When I arrive the middle, looks pretty damn open to me. But <laughs> that's what you get when you have a that middle linebacker group, man. Running flood again. I mean, flood has been one of our go-to plays today. Has been working like pretty well. Let's see if it works well now. And it does. It actually doesn't. He overthrows it. <sighs> All right, we're punting. Oh, did we? Oh, we lost that ability. I'm like, oh, they got to be running. There's no route in the field. Nope, they were passing. We just wasn't there. I mean, we, we kind of ran the clock down enough. Oh, my God. What is this? Now, I like that play because that, that was a real highlight play. Not going to lie to you. But don't show next-gen stats like this was this was him. It wasn't him. <laughs> he 
Yo, how did they convert this? That is fucking crazy. They're still running, down by a million. I was about to hit stick you with Wallace again, and now I'm blitzing because I don't like it. Oh my God! Oh, we got a fumble! We got a fumble! And we got the recovery. Defense again. Should be game over now. Don't even itch what I have today. He did not throw an intel. I don't like that. Why didn't you throw an intel? Oh my god. <laughs> the fact that I got that ball to they don't cover that middle, bro. That, that the middle of the field, in between the flat and wherever the deep blue is. They never cover that shit. I feel like I used to have a problem with my team doing that. But you feel me? Then, then we got better corners. Like their, their corners did suck though. That that is to be fair. Their corners were pretty shitty. Being honest. And as they're gonna do it for the game, this game was pretty fucking quick. Not really. It's pretty on schedule. Uh, this quarterback sucked. He used fucking horrible. I I don't care what his percentage says or the yard. He was horrible. No, he wasn't. He wasn't that bad. He just was mediocre. Let me just say that. We were fantastic. Only threw one touchdown, though. No, but we were fantastic through the air. Um, 18 of 11. 11 of 18. How the fuck do you want to say it? 239 yards, one touchdown. 61 completion percentage. And he had 77 because he just kept on... Doing bullshit, bro. Like, let's just, let's just call it what it is. Honestly, right? Um, Three touchdowns for J Jaquan Smith. He should have a devil next game. I'm going to be honest with you. Three, I said three touchdowns already. He had a 50, 16 rush for 61 yards. Uh, this running back had a better game because he was better. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. He just was better. Uh, Doug Fox. I mean, most, most of our guys have multiple catches. Very good game. Doug Fox, the only one with a touch. Somebody had three receptions for 97 yards. Miles Franklin, who got injured. This was on the first half, by the way, for Miles Franklin. He got injured at the, literally at the end of, not the end, well, during, towards the end of that second quarter. And he just couldn't come back because he has a boost on him. And then, you feel me, whatever, they ruled him out. Three catches, 84 yards. Ken Gibson, two catches, six yards. Don't fucking matter. But Zach Ross, two catches and 52 yards. Good, but... The star of this episode, Jose fucking Wallace, bro. He had two tackles for loss. It's not going to show it because tag, not tackles. He had two forced fumbles. Four fumbles in the back for some reason. Don't know why that is. I guess because it's just one of the stats that just don't happen that often. But uh, tackles for loss, we had two with Belton, Carrington. Damn, Dante Griffin only had one um, tackle for loss. But we did hold, I think we held him under 200 yards, so we should get that double. I think that's how it works. Yeah, Carrington had a tackle loss. Uh, Avery, Beltran, and Dante Griffin for sacks. We had four sacks on the day with Carrington, Avery, Beltran, and Belton. That was the game. Well, that was the stats, at least. I'm going to get this thumbnail and I'm going to do this outro. That is seven wins in a row. We are two away from the record. And let's see if Dante Griffin is a superstar development player now. He didn't? I thought... Uh, I guess it's 200 offensive yards, they might have been saying. And we definitely did not get them two tackles for loss or two interceptions. Or two forced fumbles with him. So, um, that's tough. But Jose Wallace had a game of his life. It's kind of funny because Jose Wallace had a breakout a couple weeks ago. And he really didn't do shit. And then now Dante Griffin has a breakout. And Jose Wallace 
just basically took over. Moving on to week 11, where we're facing the Washington football team. Um, this is a primetime game, actually. Yeah, this is a prime. I'm like, when, when was I talking about this game? When was I talking about a uh, the Washington football team? Uh, someone's returning this week. Is it? Yeah, Cam Dunn returns. Cam Dunn kind of is shit right now. I'm not going to lie. He kind of is some shit. But that's our guy, though. And who got player of the week over us? Just curious. That's not where you're supposed to go. Okay, he had 17 tackles. What is this game right now? Yeah, that's kind of going to do it for us. We've got a lot to look forward to, and uh, we're facing a very good team. Like, I'm looking at their shit now. They're fucking good. Why are they this good? We'll see next episode, honestly. But, um, yeah, can we keep the win streak alive? I'm trying to hit the record. The record is nine wins in a row. Um, we would have to win these next two games. And I think if we can beat this team, the Bears is a lock to beat. I think, I think, I think, that is what I think. I kept saying I think, I think. I, yes, I do think. <laughs> like, anyways, that's going to do it for us. Um, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe. Liking the video helps out a lot, helps to get out to the other people. Watch my two videos on the screen, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next episode. But until next episode, peace.